On July 7, 1994, Federal Express Flight 705, a McDonnell Douglas DC-1030 cargo jet carrying electronics equipment across the United States, was involved in a hijack attempt The hijacker was Auburn or Calloway, a flight engineer who was also a deadheading passenger. Calloway had been having financial problems and was deeply in debt. He had also been diagnosed with depression and had attempted suicide in the past. On the day of the hijacking, Calloway brought a hammer and a knife with him on the plane. He waited until the plane was in the air, and the crew was distracted, then he attacked them. The pilots, Captain David Sanders, First Officer James Tucker, and flight engineer William Records were severely injured. Sanders suffered a fractured skull and a severed temporal artery. Tucker suffered a fractured skull and brain injuries. Records suffered a concussion and cuts. Despite their injuries, the pilots managed to subdue Calloway and land the plane safely. Calloway was arrested and charged with attempted murder, attempted air piracy, and interference with flight crew operations. He was found guilty and sentenced to two consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. The hijacking of Flight 705 was a harrowing ordeal for the crew and passengers. It also raised concerns about the security of cargo planes. In the wake of the hijacking, the Federal Aviation Administration FAA implemented new security measures for cargo planes. The hijacking of Flight 705 was a tragedy, but it also led to important safety improvements. The new security measures implemented by the FAA have helped to make cargo planes safer for everyone.